It's it's Samara Saggart. She's amazing and everyone wants to work with her. And she went to BCIT as well, so I know we're gonna have a lot to talk about. I know I'm gonna have to work my butt off, but I'm ready for it. I think it's gonna be great. Latest on Occupy Vancouver. We will have more for you on tonight's eleven o'clock news. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Samara Sager with CTV News. And cut. Oh, I am so sick of talking about those stupid hippies. Seriously, go get a job already. I swear I'm so over this job. <sighs> Samara? Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Nicole. Hi, you must be the new intern. I am. Oh, perfect. I'm so glad that you're here. I've been getting my own coffee for weeks. It has been crazy. Oh my God, this is so perfect. You can do all of the things that I don't want to do. Okay, follow me. And remember, no stupid questions. That stuff won't carry itself. <laughs> There you are. Hi, first day, didn't know where I was going. Take a seat. Uh, so, Samara, Sam, can I call you Sam? Absolutely not. Okay, um, well, I've, I've always wanted to be a reporter, so any sort of advice you could give me would be great. I take a grande Americano. My uh, co-anchor, Mike, is a complete tool. Don't listen to anything that he has to say. And honestly, you just, you have to look the part. I mean, it's worked for me. I, like you, I started out at BCIT in radio, and then I thought, I'm way too pretty for the radio. So I switched to television. Okay, um, well, am I gonna be able to cover any stories? Jennifer, what, whatever your name is, what did I tell you? No stupid questions. She's crazy. If I did anything right, it wasn't acknowledged. And if I did something wrong, she was vicious. I mean, I didn't want to quit, but working with her was impossible. But I mean, on to the next, I guess. I heard about a great opportunity at CBC working with Ethan Bender Singh. So something to look forward to. I can't wait. <laughs> Hello. Well, hi. Well, hello there, gorgeous. Hi. Come on in. Nicole, nice to meet you. Well, I'm so sorry to keep you in the office past five. I know the last thing you want to do is be here so late. No apologies. The pleasure is all mine. Um, it's a great time to get out of the office and get some work done. Everything awesome happens after sundown. Uh, that would be great. I mean, the extent of my experience at CTV was getting coffee, so. You'll get all the experience you need. Okay. Let's uh, let's get out of here and uh, you know let the story begin. Okay, so before we go out in the field, I think we need to team build, create a little rapport. Okay. So, are you dating anyone? I mean, it's a little bit complicated. My boyfriend and I broke up recently. The only two reasons. Why I'd get back with my ex are breast implants. So, what are we doing here? Okay, so I think I lost my dog somewhere in this area, and I have a premonition he's right over there. So we gotta get to it, okay? Yeah. Let's go. Um, here we are. I think he ran into this cheap motel, so we better hurry in. Right away. Are you kidding me? I've had enough of your pervy ways. I'm not doing this anymore. The only reason I'd sleep my way to the top is for Chris Galas. Ethan, goodbye. Hold on, you didn't even get to see my magic tricks. He's disgusting. I mean, God, I was sexually harassed, right? Everyone says he's one of the most respected men in the industry. There was nothing respectable about him. He was disgusting. Thank God I was offered that internship at TSN because there's nothing worse than what just happened. There can't be.
while we're three weeks into November and you still look like Sidney Crosby in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, whatever, George Perros. That's Sports Center. Good night. Cut. For Fox Lake, Dan, every damn time. You botched the Philly New York game. You made us look like idiots. I'm tired of this Bush League crap. I'm sorry. Whatever, man. Just because you're my boy doesn't mean you can pull this shit. We're not in elementary school anymore, Dan. Hey. Sorry about that. He can get kind of crazy sometimes. It gets really intense here because we're together 24-7. We live together, but um, you're the intern, so you, sh you should really pick those up. Hey, Jay, do you want to cover the Philly-Vancouver no. game? Uh, okay, but how about the Western Conference mm -hmm. final then? No. Uh, okay, D do you want to come to my grandma's funeral this Friday? This Friday? Yeah. No. Twilight comes up. Oh, uh, okay. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Um, I just had a few questions. Would you mind if I pick your brains a little bit? Yeah, of course. Take a seat. Who the hell is this? Really? So, anyways, um, I've just been a little bit nervous recently and wondering how do you guys handle your nerves? Well, Dan doesn't. You know what? Actually, ever since I've been doing yoga, I've gotten a lot better in front of the camera. I love yoga. Where oh, do you yeah. go? Uh, just to Bikram's down the street. I just got my membership there. Oh, no way. Yeah. Yeah, we should go over sometime. Yeah, definitely. I got something to do on Friday. We can go after. Um, maybe grab dinner or something after? Yeah, I know a really, really nice vegetarian restaurant. Really, you two? You guys are going to do this in front of me? Why don't you guys just go to the mall and maybe you can share a milkshake, one straw, and maybe you can go to Claire's after that and get friendship bracelets. That would be fun. Ooh, why don't you guys go to yoga? You can do upward facing cat and downward facing moon together. That would be enjoyable, wouldn't it? How can you do this, Dan? I'm sick of this shit. How could I? What? Jay, you are so jealous and insecure. I'm gonna go. You might as well go with her because you're obviously in the market for a new best friend. I can't take this. I can't take it anymore. You're suffocating me. I'm gonna go stay at my sister's. I mean, I'm not one to judge, but Jay is obviously not well. He's not well. Dan was lovely. He was so nice and helpful and encouraging. I don't know how he puts up with that guy. I couldn't do it and I won't do it. This industry is filled with crazy people, all of them. They're all nuts and I just can't do it. But I mean, it's really opened my eyes and now I think I know exactly what I wanna do. I've always been really interested in print journalism. The truth about your favorite news and sports anchors. The untold truth of Samara, Ethan, Dan, and Jake.